Hey guys, welcome back to Myers Family Farm. My name is Samantha and today we're gonna be making batch number two and the first one of our unscented goat's milk lotion. So come along with us step by step and we'll take y'all through how we make our goat's milk lotion. All right guys, so here is all of our ingredients that we're gonna need today for our lotion. And this container here is 10 and a half ounces of freshly squeezed goat milk and 10 and a half ounces of distilled water. This is 1.35 ounces of avocado oil, same amount of coconut oil. This is 0.6 ounces of shea butter and coconut butter, so the same in both of these. This is 1.2 ounces of emulsifying wax, an ounce of steric acid, 0.4 ounces of our preservative, um, and for our unscented, we will have no extra fragrance oil or essential oil. These are our one, two, three, four, eight, nine ingredients, and that's all it's going to take to go into our goat's milk lotion. So I'm going to go ahead and melt all of these oils and butters down and get them mixed together, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, so now that we have our oils and butters melted and our emulsifying wax and steric acid melted together, we are going to combine everything together. So, again, this is our distilled water and our goat's milk. It is just under room temperature, so we're going to add our oils that are room temperature in. Get that scraped out real good. And this is our avocado oil already is liquefied so we didn't have to warm it up and this is our other oils they are just warmed up so they are pretty warm this is going to bring this all to probably right around 80 degrees we'll check it with the temperature gun here in just a second make sure that our both mixes before we shock it with this other warmer the wax and everything's warm we don't want anything to clump up we want it to be nice and smooth should we get everything out of here? Give that a little mix. Of course, it's not going to blend together. We're going to get our stick blender here in just a second. Alright, so now those are mixed together. We're going to balance act here. And find my tip gun. Which somebody didn't hang it up where it belongs. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is at 75. This one might be. Yeah, we're at one, just under 146 for this one. So that's gonna need to cool off for a little bit. So give me a minute and we'll be right back. Alright, we're gonna temp check this one more time. We should be about where we need to be. Yeah, we're not much different. From the two. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to stick in this one more time. Right. And then I'm going to pour this down. Let's do blender. Scrape this in before it hardens again. sides. Make sure we got everything incorporated. And then I'm going to add in our preservative, which is going to turn this a lot thicker than what it is. Make sure we get all this preservative because this is what's going to keep our lotion from spoiling or souring or going bad. So we definitely want to make sure we get it all. Alright, we're going to stick with this one more time and then we'll have lotion. Alrighty. And there we have it. We got lotion. You can see how thick that got. We're going to get this bottled up and labeled and then we'll be back in just a second as we pour it in the bottles. Alright, we are going to pour our lotion while it's still pretty liquidy.
No drip. There. I'm gonna slide these down. I got 13 to go. Or 13 total this should make this batch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is batch number two of our fragrance-free goat's milk lotion. Coming soon to our store, mffstore.com. All right, you guys. Gonna get all these labels put on these bottles and we'll get them online probably later this evening, if not first thing in the morning. So y'all make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ding that notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And make sure you're following our Facebook page also at MyersFamilyFarmTX.com. And we will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys.